All right, all right, everybody. John Thompson here, OG Plum God. What we're here to talk about today is the unveiling of the Flex Shaft K9204. So I want to just unbox this with you guys so you can experience it with me, so you guys can see the things that are going to come in this and what are not, because I don't know what your expectations are of this machine or this equipment. And you know what? I didn't really know what mine was either until I unboxed it, and then I was like, okay, all of these pieces make sense. So. This is, like I said, the, the uh, K9 204. And what this 204 means is that it's designed for a two to four inch drain. So can you go through something smaller? Uh, it's possible, but it's not designed for those, those uh, size lines. So we wanna stick with what the manufacturer specs are designing this thing to do. Now, what determines this is the thickness of this cable, but also, the um, bits that come with it. These chain knockers are designed to clean uh, two to four inch strain. So anyways, let's get started on this thing. So obviously, who did, let's check out the back of it first. This is how it comes. Now this machine's a little heavier than the uh, 102, but it's got a nice little box here. When I got my 102, I just ripped the damn thing apart because I had something else in my hand. Oh, my phone in my hand. I was trying to record it while I was unveiling it and uh, I couldn't open it up with one hand. So anyways, um, I ripped it to pieces in other words. Pretty cool cool stuff here. Um, I really like the box, but who cares about the box, right? Who care about the machine? Uh, but we do care about what's inside the box and I will show you guys. The cool about this is that you can use any drill with a chuck. So you can use a Milwaukee drill. You can use a rigid drill. You can use a Makita. Matabo, Hitachi, uh, Ryorbi, <laughs> whatever drill you wanna use on this bad boy, and it's gonna rock. Um, I would say I do like the impact on it, um, or I would use what I'm using currently is the uh, M18 one key um, hammer drill, so I can change it to whatever I want and set it with my app on uh, my RPMs and stuff like that. So that's what I'm using. I really like that that uh, that drill for this machine. So you basically just put it right on here and you can even put a little extension on it if you want it to get it out a little bit further because I feel like my drill seems like it's a little too close whenever I use my, uh, my 102. But uh, you'll want to cut this off. Let's see what we can do here on that. Um, we open this up. So the only thing I don't really like about this, and uh, I'll be honest with you, is this cheesy little hook. Now, you can't get it off or out very easily. You have to bend it out. So there we go. I got that. Now this will come in and out very easily. This does come with lubricant to help us out when um, you're having a tough time getting it in and out. But yeah, see right now it's kind of being a pain in my butt. But I've never really had that problem before with my unit. Um, so anyways, that is what the shell looks like, and I'll do a closer view. That's oh, this, like I said, I think this hook's a little janky. Um, and I do think that we're all gonna come up with a better idea for this over time. So, um, and you will have some of that on there, which you don't want. Okay, so let's get this out of our way. Let's get into what really matters because what really matters is in this little box right here. This is where the magic happens, right? So we got our nice cool little rigid bag. A little cute. It's got a lot of space in here. There's not very much stuff in here, but I think that's a good thing because I want to put gloves and stuff like that in here. My safety glasses, all that. So awesome stuff. We have our chain knockers. We got two different kinds of chain knockers, two spacers. We have some extra extra spacing material. We have our lubricant with our Allen wrenches. And of course our manual that you do wanna read. This is a new piece of equipment. You need to educate yourself on this piece of equipment to the best of your ability. And if you need help, DM me or DM anybody else that has this machine so you kind of know what we're all doing to A, maintenance this thing and keep it running more efficiently over time. And if we've had any quirks during uh, our experiences, which we have. 
So and we can talk about that in another video. But anyways, cool little bag. I would recommend throwing. So this, these are the gloves that I use. These are uh, Black Advanced, um, Advanced Nitro gloves. So I like throwing these in here along with all my stuff. This stuff's cool. Anyways, we'll get a closer look right now. So first thing is we have our chain knockers. Let's go ahead and open this up. This is spacing material. We have one chain knocker with two chains on it. We have another chain knocker with three. We also have our lubricant for our flex shaft. And two Allen wrenches for our set screws. And these are two different sizes. Some extra spacing material. And of course our manual. Ooh, manual, manual, manual. Okay, so what we did here is we got all the different size chain knockers that you're gonna see between the K9204 and the K9102. So obviously these bigger chain knockers are for the uh, 04 and these ones are for the 02, but I wanted to kind of give you some kind of insight of the chain difference with those. Now these spacers and, um, well they're a spacer, but they also are gonna protect your cable. So you don't want your fresh material getting all cut up and messed up. Let's say you're in a pipe and you're cabling really fast. You don't want the wear being on um, your cable here. So that's what this sleeve is gonna do is it's going to protect that from happening or restrict it as much as possible. So like I said, you do have two different Allen wrenches, uh, two different size Allen wrenches, and that is because um, each one of these has its own sizing. So we're gonna take all this stuff apart and we're going to attach our first chain knocker to this machine. And you will have to remove the set screws just a little bit so that you can slide it on your flex shaft. Now, is there a difference between which one goes first? No, they made it so simple so that it doesn't matter if you put this end in first or if you put that end in first. So we're just gonna go ahead and throw one in. I'm gonna put our spacer on after you get that first one in. And then you're gonna put your other spacer on. Sorry, not your other spacer, the other end. <laughs> um, and then you're gonna tighten it down. I'll do it right at the edge. And you don't want to be, you know, Mr. Superhero and tighten it as tight as you possibly can because you don't want to mess up the tip here. Now, I have heard of guys messing up the tip of the cable and bending it and stuff like that. And that's probably because they didn't use the spacer and or they over tightened uh, the screws on here to where it messed up the cabling in here. So I will want an even gap in between these two when I tighten it. And I do want them facing or uh, aligned properly. I don't want it like that. If I tighten it like that, obviously it's not gonna do anything for us when it spins fast. It's not gonna do a thing. So you want it to where you can have slack. It's gonna make sense. And then you just tighten her up. Now I have used this thing on multiple drains. I have not had any major issues yet. But if I ever do, I will post about it so everybody knows what to expect. So, you know what? I think that this doesn't have much spacing. So I'm going to bring this back a little bit. There we go. I like that. I actually really like that. You want them to swing freely. You see that? So I like that gapping. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this other set screw. 
I found out that if you tighten one side, the other side, you don't really have to tighten very much. But what we're gonna do next is apply our drill here. I'm gonna show you guys how this thing works. Tighten my chuck. You can go slower. The faster you go with your drill, the wider these chains are gonna expand. So if you're going through a small spot, Toggle your drill so that you can get through that turn or the trap or whatever it is that you're going through. That is gonna help you. And then, once you get in, go full force, and as you're coming out, just rip on it and just, just drill as fast as you can coming out to get through that same spot and clean it. So I just wanted to bring out the, the K9102 and kind of show it to you guys a little bit the size difference and stuff like that. But most of all, I wanted to show you that it comes with something new. I, I definitely think this is a tool to use, not just a, a part, but the smaller flex shaft comes with these trap arms with a hole in them. Now what that's designed to do is for you to run your flex shaft as you're running water at the same time, right? We always want to run water and cable at the same time so that we can clear out these drains or you know, while you're descaling or degreasing. I would always recommend to get the line open first and then throw on your trap arm and uh, cable again while you're running cold water. I like cold water, I don't like hot water, I like cold water. Because if, if you use hot water, it's going to liquefy the grease and get all over your equipment, but not just that, is it's just gonna slowly seep down the drain and get clogged somewhere else. It's gonna dry up and clog somewhere else. So I like using cold water, and while I'm descaling, it's gonna clump, and it's gonna be running out the line, and uh, hopefully go to the city, all the way to the city main. That is our main objective, is to get everything out to the city main, let the city deal with their maintenance issues and stuff like that. I'm not saying I don't care about the city lines, I absolutely care about the city lines, but by using cold water, in my opinion, there's many opinions, um, that is gonna do what's best for your customers. So I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna show you guys a little closer of the size differences. That's what you got there. It's gonna slip, sit pretty slick in your truck. It's got really nice feet uh, or legs or whatever you wanna call these, but uh, they sit pretty nice and they don't roll around in your truck. So there you have it. The K9-102, K9-204. All right, everybody, thank you for watching today. I hope you guys enjoyed the unveiling of the Rigid Flex Shaft. Stay tuned for some more cool stuff.